forward to seeing them all in action today. And we're going to start it off with the under 18 women's bronze medal match. And this will feature Chinese Taipei's Fong Yuchu and uh, up against Turkey's Dan Ye Yuni Hayat, who's just 14 years old and has done magnificently well. She qualified second into the individual competition and uh, the she's up against the fifth seed Fong from Chinese Taipei. So a wonderful effort here by the archer from Turkey. They are producing some interesting talent at the moment, that is for sure, as we welcome the archers to the shooting line. Fong is a bronze medalist from earlier in the event. She won the bronze in the women's team's event. So she's going for her second medal of these championships. Had a, a couple of uh, shoot-offs earlier on in the day. One she won. That was in the quarterfinals against Lee Si Han. And then lost the semis against Yun Suhi of Korea. The top seed 10-8 in the semis. And Dunya Yuni Hayat lost 7-3 to Zhu Jingyi of China in the semis and was involved in a shoot-off win against Gabrielle Sasai of the American, of the United States rather, in the 1-8 elimination. So some tight matches for both of these two as Yeni Hayat gets a, underway with a 10. The archers uh, going at 80 metres, uh, sorry, 60 metres. And of course, we'll get the 20, we'll get the seven, full 70 metres for the under 21s a little later. So the weather is going to be challenging, but Gabby, it looks like the wind is not too strong at the moment, which should please the archers. Yeah, it indeed looks like the weather is not affecting the archers. It's raining a little bit. That helps a little bit as well to calm the weather. Uh, both archers really strong. We saw like all the way through, uh, through the bronze medal match they show really high scores it looked like the weather was a little bit better today and i mean turkey and chinese taipei two really strong archery teams it's really nice to see them both here in the final and there's the first 10 for fong but it's come too late of course to win the first set it's going to be taken by yeni hayat who uh, with those two tens from her first two arrows set up beautifully it is raining quite heavily at the moment as you can see, so 29 to 26. And isn't it great to see a 14-year-old? She's already got a world ranking as well, Gabby. It's uh, 225. Okay, it's down a bit, but you'd expect that with a 14-year-old. <laughs> yes, indeed. I feel like uh, Turkey is a really um, strong archery team. Uh, the Turkey team has a really nice developing system that works with people that is really young. Uh, so it wouldn't surprise me that she's already in the in the system. Um, I feel like they have a lot when you're young and when you are unexperienced, you have a lot to learn. But also, what a nice experience to be able to train together with the Olympic champion. You know, they put them all together. Mete is training with them. They have really good coaches. They have um, a lot of people that has a lot of experience. And that, of course, motivates them to become better and better. And she seems very relaxed and enjoying the occasion here. So uh, it's good to see that someone that this young is enjoying herself. That's a big, uh, big moment in her life on uh, TV in a, in a world championship going for a bronze medal. Fong, though, is a good archer as well. She's 16, and now she has back-to-back 10s -back in this match. Yeah, really nice to see that she can find the middle after a couple of arrows. Um, in the other side, she was right uh, there when she started the match. Um, this is, of course, a really nerve-wracking match, but I think that they are both handling it pretty well. Yes, indeed. Other than that seven, 
That first arrow of the first set from Fong. All the other arrows in the match so far have been in the yellow. And Yeni Hayat not too far away from back-to-back -back tens again. So she's got a, it's a lock score line with one arrow left in the set. As Fong just waits for that breeze just to settle a touch. Oh, just away from the 10 zone. It was only a couple of millimetres. That gives Yeni Hayat a chance here to go to 4-0. Which he's taken. That was clutch. What a great last arrow. Yeah, amazing shooting for uh, from Dunya. So 29 to 28. Yeni Hayat claims the first two sets. Just one set away from victory now. She looks very determined, and I like her composed and relaxed setup. Sure, the, the heart is racing over 100 beats per minute comfortably, Gabby, but it's as you know, it's important to control it, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like she has it under control. She looks really serious, but she also looks like she is... Um, having some contact with the crowd, talking with her coach, communicating about how she feels. And I'm pretty sure that that is helping her a lot, staying easy, staying quiet, and um, just enjoying what she's doing. Well, other than that first arrow, Fong hasn't put too much wrong either. She's just been outscored. It's as simple as that. So here is the third set now. Fong now needs to get something out of it. She needs at least a tie. Or a win here. She loses the sets over. And Fong just grabbing the, the line there for a nine. Seven. Well, there's the first loose one from Yeni Hayat. A big chance now for Fong to move forward in this set. Well, that means Fong can claim the set with a 10. Get on the board here in this bronze medal match in the under-18 women. Just away again. So, the match will go into a fourth set, regardless of what happens here. But Yeni Hayak can get a tied set with a 10, and she's just missed it. So, Fong... Wins by a point. So we're on four set points to two now. It looked a little bit like uh, Dunya uh, was a little bit more nervous. Uh, it looked like she had less control over her shooting. Uh, she was moving her bow a little bit, uh, which it can be understandable for... Um, you know, like sometimes you want the match to finish as fast as, as far as possible. Um, so you could like just celebrate and be happy about that. Um, but she looked like she was a little bit more nervous, uh, which is understandable. I feel like she just needs to stay quiet uh, and calm. Um, she needs to do what she was doing in the first two hours, two ends, I'm sorry. And um, everything will be all right. Fong in the meantime needs to keep fighting. So, an intriguing match here. Full set now. It's worth mentioning, Yeni Hayat still there. She, same goal for her in this set as the last one. Two more set points and she's got the match. And same target for Fong. Needs something out of the set to take it to the decider. Great start for Fong. Fong's 10 just before is her third of the match. Yeni Hyatt has four. Oh, now Fong's starting to heat up. This is good from the Chinese Taipei Archer. She's absorbed the pressure that Yeni Hyatt was able to create early on the scoreboard. There's a beauty from Yeni Hyatt. So this is a good set. Fong can win it, though, with another 10. 
That is fantastic. A perfect set there for Fong. And we are going to a deciding set now in this bronze medal match. Well, it's two nines and a ten there for Yuni Hayat. So great comeback from Fong, Gabby. Yeah, uh, it's amazing how she managed to come back. Uh, she's been shooting pretty good. Uh, 26 is not a bad score, uh, but she, I mean, since she found the the center of the target, she hasn't uh, left. I feel like she looks really secure about what she's doing, and um, yeah, I think that like if she wants to uh, win the match, she needs something from uh, from the same, you know. Well, the game basically becomes a one-set match now, this one. Both archers have five tens in their 12 arrows. It's great stuff from Fong. Never pleasant being 4-0 down, but it is very pleasing to fight back from that deficit, which he's done nicely. So here we go. It's the fifth and final set. Four set points each. Bronze medal at stake here for these two. And it's Turkey's Dunya Yuni Hayat to go first. Starts off with a 10. Good work. Yeah, she looks really happy about that one. Just a touch high. Big deep breath from Yuni Hayat. Just to expel a bit of nervous energy. Ooh, that's interesting. So here's the door wide open now for Yeni Hayat. A 10 or a nine is going to be good enough for her to win. And she's got the nine, and there it is. She's got the bronze medal. She came through nicely there, held her nerve. Fong will be disappointed with that last arrow. It's cost her a big chance, even though she's come back with a 10 to finish. It won't be enough. She's going to finish one point behind in this fifth and final set. So it's Turkey's Dunya Yeni Hayat, the 14-year-old, who's going to win the bronze medal in the women's under 18 recurve individual. A great effort. Well, good one, good match that one, Gabby, to open the day's proceedings. Yeah, I feel like both archers kept fighting for uh, that medal. Uh, we saw the archer that started winning and uh, taking the match. Um, they both showed amazing scores. I feel like 26, 27, 28, 30 is just uh, so something you can be happy with. Um, congratulations to both archers. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this week is going to be really present in their memories. Um, and congratulations to uh, Dunya Yuni Hayat for winning the bronze medal. Yeah, she's going to stand on the podium, and that's a great achievement someone of her age. I don't think we've had a 14 year old on the podium here this week until now, which is fantastic.